Hi everybody, I'm Jake. Today we're gonna to be seeing if the tire rotor down here is bulletproof. We're gonna be using, starting off with a nine millimeter, 115 grain full metal jacket out of a Glock 19. Clear. Okay, so we hit it twice. It put a little depression in it, but uh, it didn't really do too much. It just kind of splattered. So, all right, well, we'll step it up. Okay, so moving on, we're gonna go up to the uh, 44 Magnum, 44 Remington Magnum, 240 grain. Now we're gonna use it out of this Magnum Research Desert Eagle 44 Magnum. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at that. Okay, so the Desert Eagle went straight through here, the 44 Magnum. I hit it here. It went through the it went through the first layer and oh, it just fell. Hold on. Oh man, you can see pieces of jacket. Oh no, where did that go? There's a piece of the, there's a piece of the jacket right there. The slug was in there though. It went through, but it stopped in between those baffles. We're gonna shoot that again, to see if we can get the, Get the slug. Okay, let's go back. All right, so round two with the 240 grain 44 Magnum out of Desert Eagle. Oh, okay. Okay, so this one just blew a chunk right out of it, out of both both sides. And you can see I hit it here also, and it blew a chunk out of there as well. Okay. I was really hoping we were gonna be able to catch another, catch another slug in there. Yeah, you just got pieces of jacket. Wait. Oh! Ah! There you go. There's a part of the slug from the 44 Magnum that hit it. Hmm. All right, let's move up. All right, so we're moving up to uh, Remington 870 and we're gonna be using two and three quarter one inch slugs. Bulletproof as I thought they were going to be when I when I took them out of my garage. So okay, so I replaced the target, and we're going to move it up to rifle calibers, and we're going to be using a Aero Precision AR-15. And we're using 55 grain full metal jacket. All right, so rifle calibers are just punching right through it. Like I said, I expected these to be way more bulletproof. Oh, you know what we can do though? At the end, when we're done, we can set both of them up and see how bulletproof that is. 
Okay, so we're moving up to this Winchester XPR, and we're gonna be using 150 grain uh, soft tip, seven millimeter Magnum. and tripping me every time. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, not a problem. These are punching straight through. Like I, I expected these to go through. Honestly, I expected those to go through. I kind of expected the 5.56 to go through the first baffle and stop on the second, but we'll set both these up and we'll see if we can stop it with that okay so we're going back to the desert eagle we've got both the brake rotors set up down there so we're going to see if we can stop this 44 magnum with it I think the first one went through. Second one hit here. That's from the right. That's from the seven millimeter. We don't have any slugs down here. Oh, got one. We caught one. Oh, caught two. All right, so it stopped them on the second on the second uh, rotor. So it's really hot. All right, going back to five five six. See if we can stop it with two rotors. I thought this was gonna go through. But you can see it was lined up right like that. And they all stopped. Alright, let's move up to the seven millimeter. Alright, so we're going back to the uh, seven millimeter Remington Magnum. See if we can stop it on the second one. Honestly, what do you think? You think it's gonna stop? No. I think it, I th I think it's gonna go straight through. Yeah, me too. on this side I hit it once on this side honestly I think that's it <laughs> I can't really tell all right we're gonna redo that because I can't really tell where it is all right so second try on the seven millimeter uh, Remington Magnum It went right through. So we'll try one more time and then. All right. Round two, Remington 700. Seven, or excuse me, Winchester XPR, Remington 7 millimeter Magnum. Oh! Oh, I blew a big ass chunk off of it. Oh, 
Oh my god. Look at that. Dude, it blew the whole left side of the thing off, the rotor. And some, look at some jackets stuck in the tree. Piece of the jacket right there. All right, well, there you have it. Rotors are not very bulletproof. <laughs> All right, best part about shooting two liters, you get thirsty, you can drink some of your targets. All right, let's go. Now we're just gonna have some fun and just do some target shooting. <laughs> that 44 bag is no joke. Right, now we're going to shoot a cantaloupe. He <laughs> hit me. Oh my god. Mm. Something wrong with you. It's fresh. Now we're going to shoot a pineapple. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay, so now we're going to shoot some fruit with the seven millimeter from about 50 yards. I did not expect that, honestly. <laughs> that was a huge explosion. All right, let's go check it out. It's just gone. The top of it is right here, and the rest of it, this is all that's left of it right here. Oh. All right, so now we're going to shoot the cantaloupe with the 7 millimeter Remington Magnum. <laughs> oh, that never gets old. All right, guys, that's the end of today's video. I appreciate you watching. Go ahead and give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.